Hi, I'm me, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. Like I want the money or the working surface gets it. We're moving the Fab Lab again. This is my fourth time, and uh, we're going into the Masterton Library, and uh, we're trying to help the good citizens of Masterton by being closer to them. We have a CNC machine, a laser cutter, which will be put back together again, right John? Yep. Uh, and final cutter, 3D printers, lots of computing power, and have some fun here. The beanbag must die. Sit. Yes, sit. Good cat. Uh, do, you, do you think? You might have overdone the lead slightly. We may need a smaller lead. Smaller lead. Smaller lead. Oh, dog, yes, we've got your lead here. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll get another one. It appears we have a problem which is going to require more netting. And here we have little Lewis, who's been doing some gardening. Thank you, Lewis. And welcome to another episode of Things Vic Does in the Buff. This is the buff. You've seen me use it as a uh, head torch holder, um, and also as a scarf when I'm doing welding to stop my neck getting sunburned. At the moment, I'm using it as a hat. Chook, 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 chook. And I know that the chickens have been laying lots of eggs. What have these things to do with one another? I shall show you. Come on, dude. Out of it. Ow. Little sod. As you can see, uh, lots of eggs. I'll move you in a bit. So we pull off the buff, which is just a tube. So I've drawn us together. Speaking of wind noise, I've even used the buff to improvise a wind sock for the camera on occasions. Bag for egg. Look like I'm about to do a bank job, but I'm not. There, there, there it is. See? It's me. Um, why am I wearing this crap? Well, I'm doing some dusty work in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> no, not cooking and burning things. I'm actually uh, doing some renovating. So I have to cut this Formica worktop and I don't fancy inhaling Formica dust. Uh, to do this I have a tool called a Renovator, uh, which is about the only as seen on TV thing I've ever bought that's actually lived up to the promise. It's great for making plunge cuts, you wouldn't want to use it for cutting everything. Also cuts tiles a tree, no, never mind. Um, so I have a proper dust mask. There you go. Voila, you can't have a thing. Apart from not hearing me, the problem is that once you've got one of these on, when you try and put your protective glasses on, they want to rest on the bridge of your nose. So does the mask. There is a collision. And either you inhale dust, or you get dust in your eyes. So, um, if you're thinking of using these for pandemic purposes, then uh, you want to check them before you uh, actually have to use them. So don't leave them sitting in the packet. All right. Oh, there's one more problem. When I use one of these things, uh, someone knows the tune and joins in. And yes, I'm doing it in the buff again, because it makes a really good improvised filter if you double the fabric over two or three times. So while some people may point out that a bandana is just as practical, I find it much more convenient to do things in the buff. So for now, that's your lot down on Geeko Farm.